Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Point. Now, before starting the video, let me ask you a simple question. Can you live without electricity? I think your answer is no. Actually, no one can live without the electricity. We are dependent on electricity from our each and every small needs. Okay, electricity is the power of our lives. But no one ever thinks how this electricity comes to our homes because the electricity has to travel a long distance before it comes to our homes because the generating stations are far away from our cities and villages. Actually, they are situated in the hundreds of kilometers away from our homes. So guys, from the generating station, when it comes to our homes, the electricity is transported by the transmission lines and the transmission lines are nothing but the conductors actually. So guys, when I talk about the conductors, there will be definitely some electric losses in the conductors. And if I choose the best conductors also, like our copper or aluminium, there will be some losses in the best conductors also. The main reason of the electric losses in a conductor is due to the resistances. And when I talk about the wires or conductors, there will be always some resistances inside the conductor. So in the transmission lines, due to these resistances, there will be always some electric losses and our aim should be always to minimize this resistance as much as possible. So guys, to minimize this resistance, we always transmit the electricity through the transmission lines in high voltage alternating current. So guys, in this episode, I will tell you why and how this high voltage alternating current helps us to reduce the electric power loss in a transmission line. So guys, watch this video completely to understand this important concept. So guys, see this power system network in the board. Okay, so first of all, electricity is generated in the generating station here okay and after that the voltage of this power is boosted up by, by using a step up transformer because step up transformers always uh, increases the voltage level okay so in this uh, in this secondary portion we we get the electricity in almost high voltage ranges like your 132 kV okay or maybe 66 kV in that range like that okay and after that we have this portion okay this is the transmission line portions where you can see thousands of kilometer distances is traveled by the electricity in this portion by this transmission lines okay and in this portions we always use the electricity in the high voltage level now let me show you the reason now see guys as I told you, there will be some electric losses in the transmission lines, but that loss is nothing but our I square into R. And this is the heat loss or the electric loss in a transmission line. So guys, you can see this is uh, this loss is equal to the I square into R, but you see the resistance is always constant for the for a specific conductor because why the resistance depends on the length of the conductor and the cross-sectional area of a conductor and length and area can never change okay so that are the constant values so this resistance is constant so i can say that the loss is directly proportional to the current square okay so somehow if we are able to reduce the current then we will be also able to reduce the electric losses in the transmission lines so guys now our aim is to reduce this current somehow now see guys what is the electric power actually so for that from the definition our electric power is nothing but it is voltage into current okay so guys see if the power is constant suppose i want to uh, transfer 15 megawatt of power okay so suppose I want to transfer 15 megawatt of power. So this power will be constant. So when you apply this here, voltage into current will be your what? 
it will be constant okay so from here i can say that voltage is inversely proportional to the current you can see voltage and current has an inverse relation for a constant amount of power okay now guys it is an easy task for you also to find out why always high voltage is preferred you can see from this relation if i increase this voltage your current will decrease and if i reduce this voltage your current will increase so guys that is why if i use high voltage here voltage is increased this current will reduce okay so that is why we always use the high voltage in transmission lines now guys let me take an example to show you that so you can see i can this i can write this like this also so current is proportional to 1 by voltage so from here you can see if i uh, increase the voltage by twice then our current will reduce by half okay so now you can understand that when we increase the voltage our current will uh, reduce and if current will reduce our i square r will also reduce so our electric loss in the transmission line will also reduce so this is the reason why we use high voltage for the transmission of electricity now guys the next important thing is uh, why we use always alternating current for the transmission of electricity so guys you can think like is it really possible for dc to increasing the voltage or decreasing the voltage it's like a game right uh, at the generating station we are increasing the voltage and at the load end we are decreasing the voltage but is it really possible for dc no guys it is not possible for dc to change the voltage levels at different instants okay because you can see here i am using step up transformer and here i am using step down transformer so in dc this step up or step down these uh, things does not work in dc because transformers only operate on alternating currents not on the direct currents and there is an other other reason also because why we use the ac because in ac uh, this cycle in each cycle the currents uh, the value of the current changes its direction due to which our electric loss decreases but in case of this uh, dc that is uh, not like that in dc currents always remains constant for long period of time so that is the reason when we are using the dc the electric loss uh, have a huge amount okay and also guys the house uh, equipments that we use in our homes like our fans or lights etc so that equipments also work on alternative current only not on dc so that is the reason also if we transmit the whole electricity in alternating current it will be helpful for us to use that electricity in our homes also so guys this is all about this video i hope you have learned definitely something new from this video so guys if you like the video please subscribe to my channel electrical point and don't forget to press the bell icon and also guys share with your friends so that they can also get the benefit of my videos so guys if you want you can follow me on the social media also the link is given on the description box so guys and if you have any doubt or any queries you can directly ask me on the social media platform or you can directly give the comment on the youtube so guys thank you for watching see you in the next video so till then be safe and take care